this is Ling Chi, brush painting for beginners. Today, we're going to do a tree. And there are so many different ways you can do a tree. And today, I find this is the easiest tree that, that, that for me to paint. And then after the tree is done today and practice on, and next week, we'll see what we can do with finishing the composition with other things than the tree. So you'll paint a bunch of trees and then next week we, we are ready and then we'll go from the tree. So today, this is what's going to look like um, the tree we are doing today. Very simple coloring and paper and brushes. We are only doing two brushes, which is our new uh, full moon and big full moon. The, um, we're introducing how to use these two brushes. And I think a lot of our customer has gone ahead and get them. And then we want to show you on uh, different ways to use them. But if you decide not to get them, then you can use your long larger mountain horse so any brush has body but longer and then or uh, and then the substitute this large fumu with um uh super flow um full uh full lotus or um a large flow so two brushes and then paper we are using our uh, mulberry pea paper and um, so I have yellow and um, uh, green and then we're going to use a little bit um, fast bottle ink so two colors and the ink so very simple so I'm rinsing my full moon brushes and dry them on the paper towel. And then I'm loading the green. And then tipping the ink blend. And I wanna make sure the brush is pretty dry. So I got this brush ready. And then I'm also with the full moon brush and I'm loading the yellow tip. I would say about one quarter and then tip the green and blend one more time yellow and tip the green blend. So I'm going to do the So this 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 group of leaves are going to be longer than the top one. Yellow, green, and I will continue So this is the longest group. And then yellow, green, and then I'm doing the second group. And then the third group, the still the same green and yellow.
So one, two, three, and fourth group, and then fifth group right underneath. So this one is shorter. So you can see I'm um, in, out, in, out, and in. And then I'm going to use the brush that I prepared before, which is green with um, the ink. And then I'm trying to find the center of this group, laying the brush. So then I'm using the same brush that making the branches. making some happy dye here, here. So then I'm changing back to my full moon, a large full moon, and I'm loading the tip with ink. So I'm going to do some shadow right underneath this. So then I finished my tree. So I'll see you next week. And then we'll do some little people watching the trees. Or we can do houses. We can do the washes. And so paint the practice a bunch of trees. And then when it's dry, we'll see you next week.